Hello everyone, this is Deb Domke. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and this is the card we're going to make today. I'm calling it the Flowering Fields card because that's the stamp set we are using for this beautiful card. And here's our stamp set, the Flowering Fields. We're going to use this stamp, this one, and our butterfly. This is Free. The stamp set is free in our celebration catalog, the mini catalog. And it's only free until March 31st. Next week, guys, that's it. You can earn it by buying $50 worth of product, either through the celebration catalog, our annual catalog, or online on our clearance rack. As long as it's $50 before taxes and shipping, you can earn this stamp set for free. And we're going to use the matching DSP that come that you can get also for free. And it's called Wild Fields De um, Designer Series Paper. And this is the piece that we're going to be using. And to get the uh, Designer Series Paper for free, it's the same as the stamp set. Spend $50 before taxes and shipping and you can get that one for free also. So if you order a hundred dollars worth of product you can get the two items for free. And this piece here will go on top of our card base. It measures five and a quarter by four. And I've taken my Wink Estella brush and I've just highlighted the very outside part of my DSP, my designer series paper. Just the first like two rows of the dandelions. We're going to do, and oh, this is my envelope that I made, my envelope, and there's the back. I stamped on the edge there. And this is the inside. I left it without a greeting, that way I can write a quick note in here if I want, or if I want to put use it as a birthday card, I just write happy birthday, or with sympathy, thinking of you whatever I need the card for. But I, I really like it this way. I glued this layer down and all of this is all glued down and I cut out the flowers after I um, I stamped them on another piece of white cardstock and then I cut out the flower tops. And I also did the butterflies but I put those on another card and just layered them on just glued them right down. But on our blue card that we're going to do, we're going to do it just a little different and see how it looks. So I'm going to be using Tempting Turquoise. That's going to be the color that I've chose. Our card base is five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. And this is the inside of our card base and this is Five and a half, five and a quarter by four inches, and that's it. And we're going to, <coughs> excuse me, use the Kirby, the Kirby Corner Trio Punch. We're going to use the scallop part. You just stick it in, line it up, and punch. I love this punch. It's really nice. It is in our celebration catalog. I don't know if it will. Um, move over into our annual catalog or not so you should go ahead and try to if you don't have it yet and you want it get it before the 31st of March that way you're guaranteed to have it so that's all punched now we need to get our memento tuxedo black ink and I want to use this stamp with the little balls on them. Um, they look like little cotton balls to me. I'm going to ink up our stamp. And I'm going to just slightly, well more than slightly, I'm going to put it at an angle across. And hold it down just for a few seconds. I like that. And I think I'm going to put a butterfly. Let me Clean my stamp off real quick because I'll use it on the
the front of the card, so I just need to wipe it off. And I'd like to put a butterfly on the inside of this one. And I think I'm going to have him flying right there. That's nice. Okay. Oops. There. <coughs> and then we're going to use our Stampin' Up! Right markers to color it in. And on the flower here, I used sky blue. And I took just the very tip and go out of the sides of the flower very lightly. I don't add much pressure at all, but I want to make sure I have it outside of the flower a little bit. I think it just makes it to look more puffy that way. And I don't want tons of heavy dark color. So just gently go around each flower like this. Very easy to do. And then for our leaves, I want to use, this is Old Olive, I want to use Wild Wasabi Stampin' Right Marker. And I just use the very tip and gently add the color on. I don't put hardly any pressure down on my tip of my marker. <laughs> and for the butterfly, I'm going to use Calypso Coral for the inside design here. And I want it just a little bit darker, so I'm going to put a couple coats of the marker on. And then we're going to use Daffodil Delight marker on it. Okay, and now I need to use my Sharpie Fine Tip Point Pen and just fill the body in. I don't want to see the white. Next, we're going to take our Wink of Stella, shake it up. <coughs> I don't have, it looks like I have no glitter at all in here, but there is enough glitter in there. I just, when I fill my barrel up, I don't fill it up. I just squeeze it to where I have a little bit of liquid come out and I stop. Because I don't like overabundance of glitter on my projects, just a nice coat. And I'll use it forever like that, just getting a small amount of glitter out before I put more glitter in that barrel. See, it's just a nice, and I'm putting it on the little blue flowers because I think it looks like a spring morning when it's nice and crisp outside and you got that dew. And that's what I'm trying to get the effect of, is the dew on it. So that's really pretty. I hope you can see that. Now we're ready to glue this into our card base. I like to use our Tombow Liquid Mono Adhesive because it stays stuck. It does not come off and, well, I'm sure it would if you didn't put enough down. It probably would pop back up. But I put plenty on. And I have no problems with my cards staying stuck. And then just put it on our card base. Line it up. There. And then smooth it out. <laughs> Very nice. So the inside of our card is done. Now we can work on the outside. Our first layer is going to be the designer series paper measuring five and a quarter by four. So we're going to go ahead and put glue on it. 
and get it stuck down on our car front of our card. smooth it all out. Okay, now we can set this aside and we're going to start stamping on our small piece of car white cardstock here. And this one measures four and a quarter by three and a quarter. And that's Whisper White and we're going to need our Memento Tuxedo Black ink and I don't know if this is a cone flower or not but this is the flower I'm going to start with I'm just using two flowers I'm going to take it and bring it up and over to the edge of the card and press hold it just for a couple seconds that's a good image now I'm going to bring it down a little bit because I don't want them all straight and even. And this one's going basically in the center of the card. And one more over to this side of the card. We're going to bring it up higher. Fantastic. You'd also be doing your envelope at this time too, but I've already finished the envelope in order to save time. Now the little puffball flowers. We're going to get that stamp going here. I want to bring it up a little bit, but not taller than that flower. I want to bring it down just a little bit more. There. The next one I'm going to bring it up just a little bit. And the last one I'm going to take it up, up higher. There. Clean my stamp off a little bit. And let's take our butterfly. Uh, we have, oops, it popped off. Just pop them back on. Let's put three butterflies on. Well, we're going to leave it like that because I'm covering it up anyhow. And, um, I've already uh, colored some and cut them out, so I just need the outlines. That's all I really need. So that's fine. <clears throat> okay, now we're done with that. Turn it upside down so the ink stays at the top of the pad. Now I'm just going to show you how to color this. I've already finished one off in order to save time. And I'm using Tempting Turquoise Stampin' Right Marker. That's for the large flowers here that I, I think they're a cone flower. And with, just use the tip of my marker and lightly add strokes of color down. And I like to go very light because I want to do a shadow with the same marker. I don't want to have to bring in other colors of blue or turquoise in. And so that's the first coat. Now I want to make the front petals a little bit darker and leave my top ones lighter. So I just go over the petals that I want dark and add more color to them. Just using the tip of my marker. I go over one more time, get a little bit more color on. 